How is it going, guys? It's been a while. We're back today with another cloth video post rotation. And we're taking another look at the deck. Um, been cooking for about a week or two, trying to figure out if this deck is playable. This is the best list I've been able to come up with. Not sure if it's actually super strong or not. I've been having a little bit more success with this than the previous earlier builds. So let's go ahead and look through the lists here and talk about it. <clears throat> if you guys are trying to play the deck, post rotation is definitely a lot worse. Um, but I do think it actually does have some potential due to Iron Hands being so prevalent and Roaring, you do have, still have game against like Ancient Box, things like that with the Electrodes, so, and even Charizard. So let's, I'll go ahead and talk about the cards in this list and the matchups going forward um, post April 6th. So let's go ahead and get into it. The list is right here if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink that down, put it in the top right if you want. Boom, right there. Okay, let's go ahead and talk through it. So Ditto, we kind of have to play Ditto now because with the loss of the IP pass, we need a Something that can be pulled off a of Buddy Poffin that helps us get set up. Um, Ditto is actually a really good way to do it. Um, I know if you saw the previous video, you've already seen me talk about Ditto. I'm only playing one right now just because, like, playing more. Yeah, you want it on one, but you don't, you don't really want to play more than one because you can only really use one, right? Because it has to be in the active spot to use it. So you're usually, like, if you bench it, um, turn one with Buddy Poffin, you can switch into it or whatever. Then pull out whatever you need. So we're just playing the one. It does give us like a, a very flexible opening, which is really what this deck needs at this point. We're playing still one Squawk Billy EX. Nothing special there. That's staying the same. We're playing Squabbit now because we are playing the 2-2 two -two Bidoof B Barrel line. This card really helps us not only like draw through our deck, but also like there's sometimes we have really awkward hands like Claff Stadium, two to three tool capsules early that we just want, but we want to use Squawk Billy EX as a Squawk and to draw six, right? So we use Nest Dash, put all the cards that we can't use on the bottom of the deck, and then we draw six anyways. So we're not really losing any value and we're protecting cards that we don't want to get rid of later. Um, obviously the Bidoof, pretty solid. One Radiant Sneezer, nothing changing there. Three Cloth, like I said with the Ditto, we're allowed to cut back on the Cloth. We're playing two Electro because no more Curry. I know Cloth and uh, Electro are going to be starving, they're going to be famished. But it's not entirely dead, so we do have two Electrode, and the reason why we can still play Electrode without Curry is because with super effective glasses and maximum belt, which I'll show you guys both of those shortly, um, we can still one-shot Zard pretty consistently, so Zard is actually still a fine matchup post-rotation, I'm not really too worried about that. And just a lot of these other mid-range decks that don't have Pokemon EX, like um, Lugia for example, they become a lot trickier because we are not able to one-shot things as effectively, so just gotta keep that in mind if you're trying to play this deck out. Uh, two B barrel, like I said, three brute bonnets. We're playing th back on the three, and then four double turbo energies. Nothing too spectacular there. So now we're gonna go through the trainers list. This is by far not perfect. Okay, uh, I've just been messing around. This is what I've had success with. You guys should tell me in the comments below. Let me know what you've been trying out for the post post cloth rotation. Maybe you've been trying walking wake. Maybe you've been trying a uh, more aggressive build, more dittos, buddy pop, and stuff like that. Let me know. So gonna go ahead two energy lotto this is a lot better in this uh type of build because we cloth is the main attacker now again um and with the maximum belt we do want to actually be punching with cloth we have one collapse stadium which is actually a lot more useful now that we have squub to put it at the bottom in case so we're not squawking it away and then we just leave a squawk ability as a free two prizes three town store two resans backup uh this is a card that was like put in the deck very early on back when cloth was first released and i think it's just fine to play it again i don't know if we want two or one i'm currently playing two and one super rod and honestly that might be a little too much refuel but i do just like being able to put the pokemon tool card from your disc so you can reuse a uh, maximum belt you guys if you haven't seen it the new maximum belt is actually really a core card in this list attached used by the pokemon this card is attached to do 50 more damage to the opponent's active ex so it helps with the bad match where we're usually 10 or 20 damage off knocking it out now we can just one shot it and you put this on electrode with assuming and caesar you're doing 330 even without curry so this or super effective glasses can be used with the electrode to knock out the charizard ex next we're playing two judge just like before four nest ball one seal stone because we are only down to two electrodes and a lot of the time our electrodes actually want like a glasses or a belt on them so having the one seal stone is honestly more than enough you can never really you can't really justify running two and because you can't really justify running three electrode at this point playing four ultra ball to go with the barrels um really quickly back on Roseanne's. so you can shuffle energy cards so you can re refuel double turbo energies you can refuel the town stores and the perilous jungle which we'll get to or dangerous jungle something like that it's called perilous jungle yeah 
and you can shuffle like a Pokemon back in if you need like an extra brute or a beat barrel or whatever. Um, Roseanne's back has got you all covered. So we got the belt, probably one of the best A specs. I was trying poke uh, the Prime Catcher card for a while, but it just felt like even though we're kind of getting a free switch and a free boss, we're not really taking the, the like the one hit KOs that we need. So we really do need the maximum belt in here. And it honestly works fine because we are playing three town store. So it kind of just fits in the list a little bit better anyways. Two Iono, one Buddy Buddy Poffin. You could run two and cut down on an S-Ball or an Ultra Ball if you want to and maybe up the Ditto count or something like that. Right now I'm just testing out the one Buddy Buddy. Not sure if two or one or zero is correct, but one Heavy Ball, pretty standard. We are playing four Switch, no Switch card. I'd rather just have the consistency of making sure we don't get B-Barrel stuck on the active because if we do play against someone who does know our list, they can then go ahead and decide to lock a B barrel in the active and then we have to find a double turbo to get it out instead of just the switch and because a lot of lost zone decks and spread decks are less prevalent um rapid strikes gone all that stuff we don't really need the 30 healing from switch card anymore um so we can just go ahead and play the four switch perilous jungle the new per um temporal forces stadium pretty good in their deck not crazy i'm only playing one copy but there are times especially against snorlax for example where we can just um seize our jungle we get stuck in the active and they're ticking away for 50 every turn and also just an extra 20 damage against decks for where we might you know struggle to take a knockout early uh, one super rod again you could go one roseanne one super rod or two roseanne no super rod not really sure what is optimal at the moment but we are playing one rod because i do like the idea of having one super rod without using our stadium for, or our supporter for the turn sorry and like i said we are playing one super effective glasses this is so we can one shot zard um with the uh, electrode right so we used to do poison and then his and caesar and we one shot charizard three ancient booster energy capsules we're only playing three instead of four because we do play roseanne's backup so we can get them back if we need to unless they all get vacuumed away and then we're just gonna cry and be very sad if that happens anyways so three research we're back on the three research i think with this uh, type of list because we lack vip pass we do need like to just draw seven early we're cutting arvin's because arvin was really only important to get a vip pass early so we're just back on the three research and then three bosses order. So that's pretty much it with the list. Pretty, pretty happy with it. So that's pretty much the cloth list. Um, I'll play, I'm gonna show you guys a game we play with it. Not gonna get too much into it. Not gonna play too many games, been pretty busy, but I did have some fun with it, testing it out today. And this list does seem playable. Actually doesn't seem, it seems maybe a little bit weaker overall, but it's worse matchups did leave the format. Uh, Garbor's not entirely gone, but I think the matchup has probably gotten closer, especially with the maximum belt. And then Mew Genesis, which is a horrid matchup, uh, is now completely gone. So you can go ahead and I'd give it a try. Uh, check it out. Let me know in the comments below what type of you know list you guys have been playing. Maybe post some. Maybe I'll try them out myself. And maybe, maybe if we get some good testing with it and we think it's playable, we'll bring it to LA Regionals. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the cloth games. Okay. So generally with cloth, just like with the future box deck, we do want to be going second to get the earliest attack possible. They will be going first. Works for us. Okay, it looks like it's Lugia, right? Yeah. Cool. Not the greatest matchup, but it is playable. Miss Energy Pass. Well, hmm, womp womp womp. Well, hey guys, I feel like you've seen this before. Okay, this game doesn't count. We're gonna get one more in, all right? Bye bye, Snorlax. I mean, hey, we're still doing what we did before, you know? Even if, uh, obviously, this doesn't happen every game, <laughs> but it just happened to be the first game I queued up. I wonder if there's a good cloth list that plays like Walking Wake, Sodas, um, maybe it's like some dark, dark energy, dark water or something like that, that can occasionally attack with like Brute Bonnet or Caesar or other things other than just the uh, cloth and trode. Good ditto start. Our hand is not spectacular though. They are playing Ride on though, Ride on hand, so not the end of the world. We can also transform it and start this into a, a squawk ability if we need to, which is super useful, right? Because our hand, otherwise, if we didn't have the ditto, um, we'd be kind of dead, right? But if we had any Pokemon search, we can just turn this into a cloth, then pull a squawk. 
And he doesn't know what we are, so. Okay. Let's go ahead. Give me a ball. Eh, that's okay. Hmm. I think we just do this. Do this. Iono and Prey. I think it's correct. As long as we hit one ball, we should be in okay shape. Okay, we can work at this. We're going to lose three supporters, but... Root. We do have Squawk, yes. Okay, cool. Boom, Ultra Balls away. Oops, squawk a billy. Squawk and seize. You would think we were playing at the last update, but somehow we did hit Mariadon, which is kind of crazy. I've not, this is literally the first time I've seen Mariadon since the set has been released. Do this. Do this, get a Bidoof. All right, well, you guys know the drill. Unhinged scissors for the knockout. Don't worry, you guys can just protect. This is the uh, Turbo Hands deck, and we, we're doing the same exact thing, right? Next turn, we can actually bench another cloth and a maximum belt some huge damage Mew mm -hmm. I mean I still think we're just super far ahead from this spot <laughs> Only one off of each generator. That's pretty good for us. Oh, it is going to get an Ampy very much, but he's not going to get two prizes for it. Oh, yes, he will. All right. He gets there. With the research. Okay. It's a game. Next round, we're just going to get a cloth down. We can nest stash. Maybe grab an ultra. We could also just um, get an electrode down, in theory. All right, here comes the hands for 110. Stand up, squab it. Cool bet. I reset. Okay. What do we want to do here? Hmm. I'm just thinking we need to hit a switch card. But I'm thinking we just do this. We toss the seal stone this game. Not going to be super useful. We toss the seal stone. We can also just pull something here. And put it on the bottom. Or discard it. Super effective glass is not useful this game. So. Okay. Let's see the switch. We have four. Alright, we got one. Also got a beat barrel. Get that going. 
which is here. Electrode's not useful anymore in this matchup, so let's pull a cloth. And we're gonna put on the bottom and draw five. Okay, not too bad. One cloth, one door, Caesar. All right. Now all we need to do is find one more and double turbo. <sighs> okay. Hmm. What is our villain coming up with to come back to this game? Really could not tell you. Guess he attacks the Zapdos, sends energy to hands, and then he takes three prizes on Squawk or something? Is he out? He XP shared to the Iron Hands, and then he just needs to hit a generator, and he gets there. Luminion for an Iono. Weird we were playing Luminion um, at this point in the deck. But, I don't know, some people like it. I think it's probably bad. Arvin. What is the Arvin getting? Like, what? Like, EXP shirt sure general. Okay, EXP shirt sure doesn't really do anything. Huh. He's trying. I don't think he can get there. I mean, I guess, like. Not, any, not with any, oh, any hand, he needed like hand disruption here as well, which he's never getting. Also, he spent like 10 minutes on this turn this game, like, that, brother, this, uh, your deck is not that difficult. Like, why are we tanking the time clock every turn? Okay, Electro Ball, alright, we boss. Three double turbo, last one, we'll check to see if it's a prize or not first. We might need to Roseanne's here. Surprised? Nope, it's in the deck. Okay, winnable. Uh, there is another line we can take where we like, we get electrode. We maximum belt. Boss up the Mew, and it takes 180. Is that game? I think it's game. We don't always hit it, so we're gonna do it this order just to be safe. Do this. Maximum belt. Super on the Sneasler. Just kidding, this doesn't work because guess what? Um, we don't have bench space. Fun fact. For the Caesar, that is. We can only do 160 here. Okay, we're pretty bad. We're gonna just go for it, I guess. We get to see six cards here, and we made it worse by shuffling. I thought we had the board space for it. We don't. Okay, there's an energy lotto. We draw first. Draw four. Okay, we got there. Huge. Okay. What I was going for was, I think you guys saw it. If I had a bench space here, I can get Caesar. I can maximum bell boss with the UEX for 180 exactly. Um, but we didn't have the bench space for it. I forgot. We didn't collapse this game, so... Big problem with the deck in the post rotations, like like before, just bench space is an issue, right? But um... wow,
Okay, we're cooking. What do we got? Let's see it. Zard? Second. Unfortunate Mulligan, considering we're on like 15 basics. All good. 14. Okay, we got the Trode. Charizard, cool. Alright. Let's see if we can do it. No buddy poppin' it seems. Or maybe just nest balling first and check for it. Could be a nest balling for like Rotom. Catch your tree. Gems in charge for three. No Pidgey. Oh. Now the question here is yeah, we're gonna we're gonna boss the Pidgey here for sure. Fruit Bonnet, Capsule, Squabbit, Lost Pidgey. Um, I want an Ultra Ball here for a Squawkabilly. This is the main question. These cards are good, but like, they're kind of serving the same thing as Squawk anyways, right? Squawkabilly. Draw six. Okay, so some buddy poffin. Get the Bidoof sound. Okay, cool. Knock out the Pidgey. Second Mander, okay. We do get a double B barrel down next turn if we want, which is pretty good. We can find a collapse stadium, make board space for a Sneasler, because we do need to get a Sneasler down this game. There's a Beeb. Okay, so this turn we're probably gonna have to go for a boss cloth knockout on the Rotom since we don't have bench space for Sneezer. Send this up. We, have, we, we just need a surge. Cloth? Cool. That's actually perfect. We also need a switch. But that's a little bit easier to find. Do this. Draw six. We have four switching deck. It'll be very easy to get one. Cool. Switch. B barrel for five. Okay, maximum belt, switch. Alright. Okay, he sends up Zard, knocks out a cloth, goes three to three. We still need to find. We're still in a bit of trouble because we don't have um, Collapse Stadium. We bench two B Deuce. 
this is like a problem with the deck that I found is that we wanted to play like Squabbit because we really need to like go through our deck very fast. But we really just don't have the bench space for it because we need like Sneasler, we need the Bonnet, we need Law of Fortrode, we can get Squawk Ability just left there, which I've honestly thought about cutting it, but I think we still have to play it unfortunately post rotation. I think it's still just good, um, even though it is a liability with Iron Hands. It's like if you're playing this, you have to pick Laps because if not, Iron Hands is getting three food prizes against you every game, which feels really bad. So if you're cutting this, you could also cut Collapse and make a little bit more room. Oh wow, he's getting rid of the B-Barrel. That's really nice of him. He's playing Mawile in Hazard. That is a card you can play for sure. Okay, well, we can just punch around this and send an Electrode into it, I think. That's really good. Heavy Ball again. Don't need that, just burning it. I think we can actually just put a trode down here. Or maybe if you put Sneezler. Yeah. Sneezler. I don't know. 10 to 3. Squab it. Um, okay. This is punch. We can punch with cloth, punch with cloth again. So, he'll go to two, we go to one. And then as long as he, we don't leave squawk on the board, we're fine. But if he has, like, boss squawk here, then the game's just over. We can't really do anything about it. We didn't find collapse. Arvin. Vacuum belt, interesting. Very interesting. Is it does he just have the rest of it in hand? He has Ultra Ball Candy. He just I don't know him into exactly Ultra Ball Candy. Seems pretty good, I guess. Or their prize, I don't know. One of the two. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, wow. I think we're getting there this game, actually. We do need to switch again, but it should be fine. We do this. We. I think we can town store actually. Now that um, he's board, or he's not gonna be board locked, for, but like, like he'd have to go like super rod, pull Rotom, put Rotom on the bench, and then have the steel stone as well, and that seems very unlikely. Town store. Gonna take this. That goes there. We need a switch really badly here. Wow! Look at, look at us. Look at us. Plus five. Collapse. Cool. Oh shoot! I forgot we can't put the collapse on. Uh oh. Um. Well, we lose the boss now. I guess we eat town sword instead of collapsed. I mean, we kind of had to, right? Because we didn't have the the poison. All good though. I think I, it's like very hard for him to have the boss here, right? Surely. He, yeah, I don't know. If he has it, he has it. We can't judge him here. All right. Let's see. Does he have it?
Yep, looks like he has it. This is what he's doing. Three card hand, does he have it? He didn't snap jam it. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe we win. Pound score. Maximum belt. Okay. Maybe we're getting BM'd. He's gonna hit the squawk for like a million. Uh BM. Boss? Does he have it? Come on, just play your boss. He doesn't have it. Okay. Wow. Okay, wow. Squub it again to be active. Okay, we just need one prize here. Okay. Um. We have Seal Stone, right? So we can just do this. Do this. Which. Still stone. Boom. We have a boss left. I think we have one boss, right? As long as it's not the prize. Yep. Boom. Get rid of the bird. We're hunting birds today. Bye bye. Woo! A crab. Still barely crawling his way to victory. I mean, you guys are getting to see how it works, right? Still playable. Um, definitely needs work. Definitely needs some cards to come out in the upcoming expansions to really help it out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. Sorry, I've been a little out of my head with videos. Going to look to get back into it full force post-rotation, just like Temporal Forces. Um, and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment. Let me know below what you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.